Hello everyone, welcome to this week's MWF Tech Tip session. Today I will be going over the creation of some new opening framing types. Uh, to start off, I put in a window right now. Uh, it has a default marker of ours, uh, which as you can see is pretty simple with the kings, the header, and the sill. Uh, but I want to create one that's going to come in with some extra cripples. Uh, I want some extra kings. So, obviously when you're going to apply, this is the list. Yeah, you can come and edit these and change but this will be specific to the one that you're working on um, I want to add something permanent a new one a new marker basically so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under my marker manager I'm gonna go to opening single and we have the list so I'm gonna grab my default I like the way it looks just to start and I'm gonna hit duplicate I'm gonna call this opening test And from this point here, you can double click or you can go hit the properties at the top. All right. So we're in under the openings tab and this is where I'm gonna make my change. Um, you have a lot of options in here. I'm not gonna touch all of them right now. Uh, what I do wanna start off with for an example would be to add some cripples. Uh, your header and your sills, this could come in uh, handy when you're working with lumber. Uh, right now I'm working with the steel uh, suite. Uh, but right here you can place your sills and your headers vertical, move to the front, move to the back. Uh, but I'm going to keep it as flat centered right now. Uh, cripple position, I want them all flush. Uh, I'm going to skip through these ones here. I don't need this. Got some stretch to nearest if you want. Um, down here we're showing what we're going to be using. Uh, but I'm using the default type. So what my panel is right now is what I'm going to be using as uh, members. Uh, so down here, left, right, you have your kings. Uh, the way to add them is with this drop down. You can add some jacks, some kings, sills, and headers. Right now, I already have my sill and my header. I don't want to change these. So I'm going to add kings. Uh, you can invert them. Uh, you can put only one on the left, only one on the right. I want to do both. I'm going to hit add. Notice they both come in here. Now, if you needed to remove some, you can right click, hit delete. You can also do invert through the right click. Uh, you will not be able to delete the first member, however. You'll get this error, you cannot delete first stud. And this is what these arrows are here for. So you can move these up and down, and now I would be able to delete this one. So I'm just gonna place this back. I'm okay with this. Uh, you can always change the members that you're using for your uh, left side kings and jacks or right side kings and jacks. I'm just going to leave the default type uh, to go with my panel right now. Okay, and I'm just going to hit the check mark. I have my opening test. I'm going to go ahead and assign this new marker. Opening test. And regenerate my wall. All right. So we'll notice I got one king that was added here. There's a total of three members right here. So the two kings, my extra cripples came in. Uh, same thing at the bottom. All right. Uh, and I had placed some of these inverted and not inverted. You can tell they're facing each other right now. All right. So just like that, uh, you guys can add uh, as many as you want, as many opening framing types uh, as required in the project. Um, that'll be it for this week's MWF Tech Tip session. If you guys need a hand with anything, feel free to drop a comment once the video is posted. I hope you guys have a great day.